Sony just dropped yet another bombshell on us with their first look at the PlayStation 5 user interface video. And while I would love to talk about the UI itself, the thing that's most interesting to me is the new Sackboy A Big Adventure information we got out of this. Just like my latest video on this game, I'll be doing more of an analysis instead of just a news roundup. So without further ado, let's just get into it. The first thing we see when Sackboy Big Adventure is booted up is the confirmation of a fully explorable world map. This world map, in my eyes, pretty much deconfirms the pod returning from past Little Big Planet games. And sure, I would have loved to have the pod back, but with no community levels, no create mode, what would be the point of a pod? The pod is a spaceship, right? It's used to travel the different worlds. So if the entire game takes place on one planet, do you really need a ship? Uh, I don't know, that's just fun speculation on my part. Don't take it too seriously, but I do genuinely think the pod being absent is not that big of a deal. It was a fun little spot to hang out in with your friends, and I'll admit, I'm a bit bummed it's gone, but this game doesn't necessarily need it in order to be good. It would have just been nice to have. Back to the world map though. The levels have a very similar badge design to the ones seen in Little Big Planet, but if you notice, the zipper is missing, and that's most likely because it's upside down. If you look right under the level badges, you can also see little open circles, and I'm guessing these are for the collectibles. Since there isn't a create mode, the only collectibles in this game are going to be costume pieces, emotes, and possibly stickers. So seeing uh, 3 to 5 collectibles per level isn't that surprising. Let's just hope there are plenty of levels to play. In this world map, we also see a purple tent with a familiar golden Z on top. If you played LBP3's adventure mode, uh, do you know this is reminiscent of Zom Zom's shop? In LBP3, Zom Zom's shop had tons of costumes to buy, but in Sackboy A Big Adventure, we're probably going to see emotes and other collectibles available to buy alongside costumes. I don't believe collectibles are returning from LBP3, as point bubbles might just be used as the currency for buying things in Zom Zom's shop. For just a second though, I want to move away from the world map and take a look at the PS5's control center, as there are some interesting things related to Sackboy A Big Adventure on there. On it, we see a screenshot of a sack boy holding a trophy on the scoreboard. At first, I thought he was emoting here, but if you go back to the world map and look at the level up for grabs, we see a trophy completion icon of some sort. And next to that trophy completion icon is a picture of sack boy holding a trophy. Cut back to the screenshot, and we see a picture of Sackboy holding a trophy on the scoreboard screen itself. I thought maybe there's some possibility that you can make your own profile pictures with any emote you want, but it just looks like a picture is being taken during this moment. However, this trophy thing could still be an emote, I don't know honestly. I'm just gonna say it's like a automatic victory pose for getting the trophy. Right next to that trophy screenshot, we see a new feature for the PS5 called Activity Cards. These cards are not the same as trophies, but they do give a good layout of your in-game progression. In Sackboy Big Adventure, we see cards for level completion, and seemingly world completion. There are activity cards for levels, such as A Big Adventure, Keys to Success, Up for Grabs, and Cold Feet. The level badges on the actual activity cards match up with the level badges on the world map, as well as the names. And if I were to guess, this is the first world of the game. First of all, it's grassy, much like any first world in any platformer ever. Uh, but just based on the activity card images, these are all levels we've seen in early trailers. And the level, A Big Adventure, also sounds like an introductory level. It's quite literally in the title of the game. The reason we probably don't see this level on the world map is simply because it's off screen. I'm thinking it's in that area in the bottom left that leads straight to Zom Zom's shop. Why not the top right? Well, because we see the top right, and there are levels that aren't even unlocked yet one of which is a co-op only level with two collectibles. At one point, Sackboy was walking around the world map, and here, we can see level completion icons including a present for what I assume is getting all of the collectibles, an ace symbol for acing the level, which means not dying once, and a mysterious trophy icon that's obviously related to that screenshot we saw earlier. 
I'm not entirely sure if it's for beating the level in a certain amount of time or what. It could be like one of those race sections in Little Big Planet with a timer. On the world map, we also see this moving purple lamp of some kind, and it's on a circle platform with green and purple stripes around it. This could just be world map scenery or whatever, but in my honest opinion, I think there's more to it than just that. We know it's not a shop, because we see Zomzom's shop right next to it. It could be a secret level of some kind, or it might even be a collectible you place down on the world map, which would be cool. But if we take a look at the top right, we see a very similar circle with green and purple stripes. Except, there's no item here, and the bottom is a bit more darkened out. After seeing this, I'm thinking these world map objects show up once you complete a section of a world, or maybe even just a certain level, because as you can see, this person has pretty much finished the levels in the purple lamp section, while the section with the darkened circle has no levels completed. On the PS5 Control Center, we see completion progress for something called the Soaring Summit, and we have seen this snowy area in trailers before. Unlike the level progression cards, this card says Adventure on it, so it's definitely world progression of some kind. Um, what confuses me is that it says 60% complete, so it's either close to being unlocked or it's close to being completed. I don't think it's close to being completed because I don't even think it's unlocked yet, but who really knows? On the activity card, it has a picture of a planet, and on the bottom is the grassy area we see now, and it leads to that snowy area on top. I'm assuming the grassy area is World 1, and the Soaring Summit snowy area has to be World 2. Speaking of the PS5 Control Center, we see more information on the progression of the level A Big Adventure. The objectives left to complete in A Big Adventure include finding the monk robe costume piece, finding the small wave emote, and finding the pinata back end co dot dot dot. Uh, yeah, we, we don't see the full word, but I'm guessing it's just another costume piece. I mean, that makes sense. Now, uh, enough of this world map. It's time to look at some gameplay. Gameplay for the level A Big Adventure. Well, okay, not yet, because I immediately noticed something on the loading screen of all places. At the bottom, it says acting is Craft World's most dangerous, yet completely harmless, martial art. Practice by pressing L2 and get those arms waving with L and R. Now, this little tidbit pretty much confirms movable hands, a feature seen in Little Big Planets, but this also means slapping will return in the same way as well. I'm pretty sure we've seen slapping in gameplay footage before. Uh, this isn't technically new information, but it is cool that slapping will work the same way it did and you have to move your hands to slap. Once the loading screen is done and we're in the level, once again, it's time to pause. In the first few frames of the level introduction cutscene, there is a sign that just says Gardens, and Gardens was the first world in LBP1. Uh, I don't think this level is based off the gardens, so I'm not really sure why this is here. It could just be a cool little easter egg, but it is possible we'll see the gardens in Sackboy Big Adventure at one point. After that, we get a good look at this game's HUD, and it's really clean. I like it a lot, actually. In the top right, we see a life counter, which I assume always starts at 4. We also see the score bubble counter in the top left, I love the way they move around on screen, I don't know, something about them makes me really want to play this game right now. Now let's go find those rascally monk robes. When the monk robes are collected, we hear this same exact nostalgic collectible sound from Little Big Planet. We don't see a whole lot of new stuff in this gameplay section. In fact, we've pretty much seen all of it in the first trailer for Sackboy Big Adventure. But I can point out some differences seen here compared to the first trailer, because, yeah, uh, some things have changed. The ground has a different fabric texture, and both the breakable boxes and bounce pads have different color schemes compared to the reveal trailer. The enemies from the first trailer have been replaced by a checkpoint and a spinning ring of score bubbles. We now know that the bigger and more reflective looking score bubble spawns a line of score bubbles once run into. Getting all of these score bubbles activate something in the level, which, in this case, are the bounce pads. A big shout out to Chunkinator104, who pointed these three things out specifically on Twitter. I would have definitely missed them if it wasn't for him. So yeah, that's that. That's pretty much everything I could find in this PS5 user interface demo that's worth talking about. 
and there was honestly a lot of stuff, especially regarding the world map. I mean, that alone pretty much took up the entire video. Uh, Sackboy Epic Adventure is looking better, better the more I see it, and I can't wait to play this game next month. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but this game looks so good. I've already come this far with covering Sackboy Big Adventure, so you bet I'm going to cover it like crazy when it actually releases. Uh, thanks for watching though, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Sackboy Big Adventure coverage, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.